How's it going everybody? I got one of these evaporative air cooler model LL04-18JR. Support at agilehome.com. It claims there's a 18335071611 phone number five, uh, Monday to Friday 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And here it is. So this is supposed to help cool your house. You got the email address, 60 degree oscillation, 12 hour timer, quiet operation, fast cooling. It's a humidifier. That's good. Extra cooling with ice. I guess it would humidify how these work. And so we're going to open this up. Let's see what's on this side. Voltage 120, wattage 65 watts. Function normal, natural, sleep, cool, max swings, uh, scoop. That's the 60 degrees, you know, oscillation. Max timer, 12 hours. Max capacity of water tank, 1.32 gallons. Cord length is 5.9 feet. Net weight is 10.58 pounds. Dimension is, there's the dim dimensions. And, of course, it's made in China. Okay, let's open this up and see what it's about. Okay, we'll go ahead and open it up. This is just an unboxing video. I have a, a, a using it video type deal. Let's open this up. Packed really nice. I'm going to lay it down and just slide it out. They give you these blue guys, you put water in it and you freeze it and this acts like as the ice cubes if you will. So there we have that, got four of them. Looks like we have controls up here, mode, speed, swing, on, off, cool, timer, and save. It's packaged pretty, pretty nice. It's secure. I will have everything in the description on, on this. You can buy this right on Amazon. So in the box, you also get a manual with a remote. So this works with a remote. That's pretty nice. On the remote, there's a timer, speed, swing, mode, save, cool, on, off. As I said, this is just an unboxing video, but I'll have everything in the description so you can go look at the Amazon link and check it out. So you got a filter back here. Got the cord wraps up down here. Ah, uh, zip tied. Where's my scissors? Okay, my scissors. Got the zip tie. There we go. Nice place to store the cord and when you're not using it. And here's the air filter. Right there. Or I should say I think this is where the water drips down. I'm not quite sure how it works, so that's this is just the unboxing. We'll get into how to use it. Video. So there's a tab down here, you swing it, and that's where water goes. I believe that's where these go down into here. And there's a little pump. I guess that's the pump that's gonna pump the water up and drip through that paper, I do believe. Looking at it more, you got handles on the side for picking this whole thing up. There's shutters here. I guess I guess we'll go ahead and just do a light plug-in just to see how that lights up and make sure it works. Okay, one thing, I want to read stickers, which I tend to fail to do, but it does say make sure the horizontal blades are open before using this machine. So you just push them. Be gentle, but you can rotate it to, I guess, direct the airflow, you know, down or up. There's a blue light on the top. 
if you can see that, I know there's a reflection. And we got all the different stuff. The fan works. Obviously, I have no water. It's cold here right now in Colorado, so it's cool air coming out. Looks like we got a fan icon there. Different speed. Okay, that's the lowest, medium, and a high. We got mode. Not quite sure. We'll have to look at the manual that has a moon, so I'm assuming nighttime, like timer maybe. This one with a tree, maybe like an eco mode. A swing. Okay, you can see it in there. These little fins direct there. Now it's coming this way. Get you out of the wind. Okay, that's kind of cool. Cool. Of course, we have no water in there, but just as a fan, got the timer. I guess that's how many hours. Up to 12 hours on off. Don't know why sped up. Let's turn it on and off. Okay. Wow. That, I think that seems like it's going to work pretty good. Oh, you got a water level here. You got your minimum. You got your high so you can see through the front that, hey, I need more water. And you can add more water. So you got these to put water in. It looks like maximum fill is up to here. And then you freeze these and then that can go into the tank to cool the water off. It's a eva evaporated cooling. This is going to work great here in Colorado because we're a dry climate. It's going to work great probably in New Mexico, Arizona, uh, Utah, you know, desert areas, dry areas. That's where you used to have the old swap coolers in home. That's basically the same concept here and they work great in drier climates. So we will be testing this, but like I said, it is cold here right now. You wanna see what it looks like? <laughs> That's what it looks like here right now. We got a little snow today, overcast. Yeah, not testing it right now. So in the next few months, I will try this out and bring another video and see how it works. And then a long-term video, showing you how it works held up is it worth your money buying this remember all the links are down in the uh, description of this video to this unit and it looks looks pretty good gotta get a jump on spring and summer here you know before it gets hot pick yourself up one of these so hopefully i can bring you those videos pretty soon here just to try it out and then real use will be down the road so hopefully this helps you out and gives you an idea of how to cool maybe like your bedroom or your office or a kid's room or what have you. Our house is pretty big. This, this isn't probably going to cool our house, obviously. But, you know, put it in a room maybe down in my office in the summer because I have two servers that will help cool it down down there, you know, and give me a little moisture in there so it's not as dry. So that's the idea. So hopefully you like this video. Please, uh... Stay well, stay safe, my friends, and have a good one. Bye.